There lies the port. The vessel puffs her sail. There gloom the dark, broad seas. Come, my friend, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off, and sitting well in order, smite the sounding furrows. I'm very proud to have been part of the beginnings of America's space program. And needless to say, I'm excited to be back, and I'm honored, I'm privileged, but more than that, the opportunity that this gives to take us in some new directions. We know the what's of aging. But I want to try to contribute more to learning about the why's of aging. I am a part of all that I have met, yet all experience is an arch where through gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades forever and forever when I move. I think it comes down to America's sense of curiosity, a willingness to go out on discovery, a willingness to, to look at the unknown. We have been a curious, a questing people throughout all of our history. And out of that came the, this surge that we know as our, our great uh, economy that we have today here and our standard of living that uh, exceeds anything uh, known around the world. It's that kind of research and that kind of, of interest in research and this kind of quest for the future that I think is, is the job that NASA does best. Their job is to push back the frontiers of the unknown and let us know in our own time these things that can benefit all Americans. Old age hath yet his honor and his toil, and something ere the end, some work of noble note may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with God. And the success of America's space program has opened up not only the skies, but it's brought our country and the world immeasurable scientific benefits. We've gone in that short period of time, in those few decades, from what we called a capsule back in those days with one person in it, up to where we'll now put up in just a few months the first part of the International Space Station. And we've gone from the depths of the Cold War to where our former adversaries are now going to be cooperating with us on this International Space Station.